Once again, another amazing episode. I just want to take a moment to say, Golfa, you need to lose another arm. You probably need to lose a couple legs, too. Because after what Golfa does in this episode, that dude is an ass. He's a straight-up, 100% asshole after this episode. What he did to Maria, I, I saw it coming. But to think that Junkets no Maria decided to really go into that line of cruelty with this episode. I, I wow. Just like, there, there's a lot of controversial themes once again in this episode that play a huge role when it comes to religion. And I, I'm loving it. I, I straight up am loving it. Because with this episode of Junkets no Maria, at the beginning of the episode, Maria gets beaten, abused, and she's there lifeless, kind of like a doll, while she's getting abused by Golfa in this episode. When you see Golfa grab her, start kicking her, bashing her in the gut, and you just, you see blood come out, you see her face is all swollen and beaten in and shit. That right there, oh my god, like, I am so shocked to see a scene like that in anime. Like, that, that is straight up brutal. That is a really, really brutal scene, especially the way it was done. And when you see him about to, like, undo his pants, he was about to rape Maria. I'm like, am I really going to be witnessing this right now? Like, is Maria really about to get raped? That's what well, I was like, yo, am I really going to see this with this series? And come to find out, he didn't completely secede when it comes to rape and Maria he did kind of get rid of her magic somewhat but he didn't secede because he thought that you know, the magic was done so you had it to where Golfa didn't 100% do what you know we thought he was going to do but he still went down that path and he was going to go down that path if Maria didn't slightly lose her magic in this episode so I want to say right now the way this episode once again was portrayed, there's going to be a huge divide between the Watchers. If you do not like controversial themes, especially when it comes to religion, you will absolutely fucking hate this episode and the previous episode and the series in general, most likely. Because the stone scene, the, the stoning scene alone, when I saw the grandma looking at the ground, you see her eyes are all hazy. She looks at the ground and you see this stone, this rock on the ground. She, she's like, you know, kind of shaking. She grabs it, and she, she's tearing up because she's really sad. And if she doesn't do this, the church will come back to her family, not just the grandma in general, but come back to the entire family, question them, and label them as heretics. Because she didn't stone Maria. With stoning Maria, they saved themselves and kind of detached themselves away from Maria. And the sad thing was, is Maria wanted the grandma to do that. It's sad. It, it's a really sad thing, because that, once again, that happened in the past. That straight up happened in the past. Of human history, that really happened. You had it to where probably women were rounded up and all that. They rounded up and they were put on trial. And if, you know, their best friends didn't stone them, they, their families would also be casted as if they're witches or wizards or, you know, demons or whatever. And so to see how this episode was done, very realistic. Besides the supernatural aspects with magic and stuff, very realistic. Very very realistic, and it, it's sad to see something like this happen, especially the way how the grandma had to give up her friendship with Maria in this episode because she was fearful for her entire family. And on top of that, too, the revelation of the priest at the end of the episode was mind-numbingly shocking, and I'm curious to see where that's going to lead because the priest at the end of the episode, he, he's doing this. He's like having a revelation. He's like, well, we can have God through our awareness. You know, he's just having this self-like revelation. He's like, holy shit, I've discovered the truth about, you know, prayer and God and stuff like that. That's what he's thinking in his mind. And you see it in this scene. You can get two different viewpoints from this scene. There, there's different ways you can look at this scene. For one, Maria said some words that were kind of like a poison. This poison that Maria said to the priest unwillingly she didn't mean to but what she said she corrupted the priest because the priest has already shown signs of corruption he's already shown signs that he is slightly fucked up like the way he was last episode he's like oh some men have to be devils like we're devils because i mean why do you think we have to pray and the way he d went about that in the last episode 
he was already screwed up in the mind and with this episode he comes to this like divine revelation and now he's looking at it as if Maria is like a goddess or something or you know a prophet that's what he's looking at Maria as from what I can assume from the ending of this episode but it also can be bad because Maria corrupted the priest think about that for a second how is the outsiders going to look like a pope or, you know, a council or whatever? How are they going to feel about the pope being corrupted by Mario? Like, how would outsiders in that day and age feel? They would most likely instantly want to kill Mario because she has words of mouth that can corrupt others. And that's the way I think the scene is trying to be displayed as. It's trying to show that maybe Mario corrupted this dude even though she didn't want to. Maybe the dude's putting on an act. Well, I have no idea. But the point of it is, the way it's going about, it's looking at it's setting up the framing of Maria to be killed faster, or the priest is going to rape Maria. Because with the ending, you can assume that because the way he's looking at Maria and he kisses her foot as if she's like a goddess or, you know, like some form of divine prophet, you can also assume that he might be trying to go over the edge and rape her. That's also a possibility what he can be doing at the end of the episode. So, episode overall, just very good episode. I, I loved it. I, I can't ask for any more when it comes to this series because th this series is just too damn good. It's getting way too damn good. Like, it really is getting way too good. Besides Death Parade, this is my second favorite from this anime season. That's like, you know, new season one and stuff. This is my second favorite. Th there's no competition to that because with this episode, it it's just way too good. It really is. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.